In this video, we're going to look through some example problems of setting up an introduction to right trial trigonometry. We're not going to solve for any sides or angles yet, but we're going to set up the problems, which is critically important. As a reminder, we had this mnemonic device, so ka toa, SOH, so stood for the sine of some angle in a right triangle is equal to the opposite leg divided by the hypotenuse. Ka, C stands for cosine, so cosine of a given angle is equal to A for adjacent leg, H for hypotenuse, and Toa, T stands for the tangent of a given angle in a right triangle will equal the opposite leg divided by the adjacent leg. So diving right in. Label the sides of the right triangle below as the opposite leg, adjacent leg, and the hypotenuse. So I always like to start with the hypotenuse. So I go across from the right angle. And over here, this is the hypotenuse. Now there are two ways to find the opposite leg. That's what I do next. So I always do hypotenuse first. Opposite leg, start at my angle go across the triangle, and this side here is the opposite leg. If you have trouble seeing it that way, you can always cover up the angle we're dealing with, and the side that is left whole, that will be the, um, the opposite. And now the sides left over is the adjacent leg. But you can see we're dealing with this angle here. There are two adjacent sides, but this side here is already the hypotenuse. So the adjacent leg is right here. Moving on. Write the three trig ratios for B in the diagram below. So I'm going to start with B and label my sides. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. Across from B is the opposite leg. And the leg next to B is the adjacent leg. Now using my mnemonic device, so ka toa, I know that sine, S for sine, of B is equal to O, which is opposite 8, over H, hypotenuse, so 8 over 10, and 8 over 10 reduces to 4 fifths. The C, C stands for cosine, cosine of B. A for adjacent, the adjacent is 6. H for hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is 10. And 6 over 10 reduces to 3 fifths. Finally, TOA, T for tangent, so tangent of B. O for opposite, opposite B is 8. A for adjacent, adjacent is 6. And 8 over 6 reduces to 4 over 3. All right, write the appropriate trig ratio for the triangle given below. So I'll start by noticing here's my acute angle. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. Across from my given acute angle is the opposite leg. Next to my given acute angle, the leg there is the adjacent leg. Now looking at my new mnemonic device, so ka toa. I see that the hypotenuse is marked with z. The opposite is marked with x, but I have no markings on the adjacent side. It is, um, I don't have given information, I don't have missing information, I just don't have anything there, so I'm not going to use the adjacent. I am looking for H and O. So if I look at this, SOH, that is H and O. This one only had the H, did not have the O. TOA only had the O, did not have the H. So my correct trig ratio will be sine of the angle, the angle is y, equals opposite over hypotenuse, the opposite is x, hypotenuse is z.
and now we'll go through another round of similar problems. So in here, label the sides. Always start at my right angle, go across, there's the hypotenuse. Go to the acute angle, go across, there's my opposite leg. Now the only side left over is the adjacent leg. You can see that it is next to the angle and a leg of the right triangle. You can also see it's the one that is between the given angle and the right angle. That will always be adjacent. Write the three trig ratios for A. So I'm going to start at A and label my sides. Across from C is the hypotenuse. Across from A is the opposite leg. And the leg next to A is the adjacent leg. And again, you can see it is between my given angle and the right angle. Now I'll go through and use my mnemonic device. So, ka toa. So, the so stands for sine of A is opposite over hypotenuse, 4 over 5. Ka, C for cosine, cosine of A. A for adjacent, H for hypotenuse, so 3 over 5. Toa, T for tangent, so tangent of A. O for opposite, 4. A for adjacent, 3. And I do want to point out that these values here were the same as these values there, but that's a coincidence. That was just because this triangle was similar to this triangle. So don't think that these always have to be the numbers. They can be many, many different things. All right, last example, starting off the same as usual, I will label my sides. So I have my angle. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. Across my given, rang given angle is the opposite leg. And next to my given angle is the adjacent leg. I use my mnemonic device. So, ka toa. And I notice I have a marking on the adjacent. I have a marking on the opposite. I have an X and a Z. But I do not have any information on hypotenuse. So I'm looking for a and O. This only has an O, does not have an A. This only has an A, does not have an O. But the one that has the opposite and the adjacent is TOA, which means we have the tangent of Y equals the opposite Z over the adjacent X. I hope that helped out. Um, you can re rewatch these or you can go to the previous video to see more explanation if needed.